the Yankees always do in the community. Now let's talk a little bit about the team going into 2023. And we focused a lot on the free agents out there and Aaron Judge bringing Rizzo back. Uh, Tommy Canely, that impending signing. But let's talk about some existing guys. I want to start with Josh Donaldson. Plus, plus defender at third base in his first year with the Yankees. What do you see happening in 2023? Can he refine the timing in his swing? Well, Bob, I think it's so easy when a player gets to an older age and all of a sudden they struggle offensively for everybody to say, oh, they're done, they're old, we need to move on. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. I've seen a lot of older players that I played with who've had down years and then they reevaluate and they figure it out. We talked a lot about Josh Donaldson's swing, how he works underneath the baseball, wants to get the baseball up in the air. And when you get a little bit older and maybe the bat speed isn't quite there anymore you get exposed with fastball and velocity I saw that at the end of the year I saw it into the postseason can he go home and make an adjustment and get on top of the ball a little bit better shorten his swing a little bit up and then all of a sudden you have an offensive player again so I'm not so quick to write him off you mentioned the defense was so good he didn't look like an old player going left to right playing third base so I would give him another look to see if he can rebound offensively I always think about what you say when you are struggling maybe just pick one spot or one zone to hit in maybe that'll get you back on track felt like sometimes last year he was a bit of a guess hitter I, and I agree with you and it sometimes it looked like he was trying to force the ball to right field there were other times he was cheating on the inner half but the one thing that jumped out to me was the velocity on the fastball you can see the, the difference in the numbers from 2021 to 22 but when your eyes tell you that as a catcher the old catcher in me guys having trouble with velocity that's where you got to keep going and once you have trouble with velocity you start cheating a little bit so you're going to be exposed to the breaking ball it was a mess offensively for Josh Donaldson he's done too much in his career and he's such a student of hitting I would give him the opportunity to go home regroup come back maybe with a different swing different approach and see what he can do now you could make the argument that going into 2023 one of the biggest wild card perhaps the biggest DJ LeMahieu can he bounce back to form what's going on with that so and is what he's doing right now and they think the prospect of surgery is not going to happen and that's a good thing can he be healthy and can he get his swing back yeah it, it's such a big question mark and all indications are that the health is coming back but we talked about DJ LeMayu when he signed this contract back with the Yankees that he would age well as a hitter right because he's such a handsy guy with a short swing makes a lot of contact we know he can play all over the diamond defensively well at the end of last year with these foot problems that he was having the toe problems he couldn't hit he couldn't use his bottom half at all and the numbers because of that reflected it so he's such an important player to the Yankees I talked about this before the ability to put the ball in play when you don't have DJ in your lineup you realize how much you miss that that hitting style of being able to drive the ball the other way great two strike hitter hits a home run occasionally when you need it great batter with runners and scoring position because he makes so much contact when he's not there you realize how much you miss him if they can bring a guy like Benintendi back have a healthy DJ LeMayu back now all of a sudden you have the boppers in the middle of your lineup and sprinkled around them are contact guys who put the ball in play and grind out at bats elevate pitch counts time for us to take